which one? Iconic are the Stetsons and cowboy hats that seem to romanticize the famed history of the Lone Star State. True cowboys wear them daily, almost as part of an identity to their profession. Along Interstate 35 in Waco sits one business that has crafted these fabled symbols for more than a hundred years. The work of the hat makers inside garners the attention of singers, movie stars, and even a politician or two. In 1993, we were making hats for Clint Black, George Drake, Garth Brooks, making hats for most of the heavy hitters. And it was always interesting going to the shop because you never knew who was going to come in. A fire in 1993 destroyed everything. Lawson says it was during that time that the business sort of lost its niche. Replacing equipment was hard to come by, so he turned to a new revolution that was gaining ground, the internet. eBay was just first being developed, and so I'd get on there every night just kind of as a hobby and, and start uh, doing searches and asking sellers questions and asking is there any other weird stuff laying around, because a lot of the stuff been in storage for 50, 60, 70 years. What he found were hat making tools that dated back to the mid 1800s. It became Lawson's personal obsession to seek out these hidden treasures, buy them, and refurbish them for use in the historical business. His most prized possession is a hat blocking machine that dates back to 1867. This is going to determine the size of the hat, it's going to determine the crown height, the taper. This right here is the heart of the process right here. Lawson's hat making days span decades. The blanks come from Longview in East Texas and Winchester, Tennessee. Other exotic hairs are imported from Brazil, Czech, and Portugal. The craftsmanship and techniques are sound, producing hats in-house, one at a time, all by hand. The work is quality and custom. Each hat is tailored for a unique fit to match the person. Start off by kind of looking at their stature and what kind of person, kind of ask them what they like, what they think is right, and we'll kind of go from there. And then once again, is a lot of the hats we could start real slow with the uh, I'll shape the hats for them so it kind of we could work into what they want, kind of what they like. He works the fibers of the hat with surgical precision, paying attention to every detail. If you singe the hair with the flame, it'll singe that hair off, that long hair, so you start with a lot smoother process and you'll actually make a lot smoother hat and make it a lot better, make it feel a lot better when we get rid of those real long hairs. Refurbishing hats is also a service offered at the shop off the interstate. This past summer, a hat from California dated over 100 years came through the store. Like Lawson, Carter arrived at the company by mere chance about a year ago. A welder by trade, he fell victim to the economy. The two former rodeo buddies teamed up again. Lawson needed help and Carter needed work. Together, the two have carried on a legacy that has withstood the test of time. Sure, their hats carry a price tag that far exceeds those that are mass produced and sold in chain stores. But for those who are serious, what they offer in return is service and skill to ensure the best product possible. It really depends on what you're going to use it for, and we try to spend your money like it's ours. And I think that's the best way to, to build customer satisfaction and, and tell your friends stuff about it if I don't try to oversell you on something. Their expertise is hats, and hats are what they focus on. Because at the end of the day, the stories of Nashville's fame stopping by for a custom purchase may be the most intriguing. This guy is the best with these hats. The majority of customers are everyday working cowboys. It's always fun to do the famous ones, but you don't know, get just much satisfaction when you see someone that you know that you're going to see at the, you know, at the local restaurant or at the bar or, or what have you to know that they're you know, proud to have your product on as well. For Voices of Agriculture, Ed Wolf, Waco.